welcome back to my channel. My name is Jordi, if you don't know me. And today I did this really easy, fairly quick little stitch together Lady Frankenstein type look using all Smashbox. This video is not sponsored, but the photo on Instagram that I'm gonna post is sponsored. They did send me all of this makeup, FYI. If you'd like to see how I did this little look using Smashbox, keep watching. I don't know why the light seems so extra bright today. Let's begin, shall we? I do have some eyebrows on and some mascara from the day that I just lived. I'm gonna start with the Photo Finish Foundation Primer. Ooh, it's so silky. Silky, soft, and smooth. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Studio Skin Foundation in the shade 0.5. And I'm gonna apply it on the Full Coverage Foundation Brush, also by Smashbox. Skin on my nose is all peely. Perhaps from the changing weather. I'm hella dry. My skin's a mess. My life's a mess. You know, as per usual. Foundation is nice. I like the foundation. I like the brush. Really like the brush. Next, I'm gonna use the Studio Skin Waterproof Concealer in the shade Fairlight. Ooh. It's darker than I thought it was gonna be. And I'm gonna blend it out with this weird sponge. Very, very strange. This is the first time I'm ever going to use a silicone sponge. Oh, seems so wrong. Oh lord. <laughs> the sponge, can this even be called a sponge? It's not a sponge. This blending device has like a swirly print on it and it's making swirly prints all over my face. It's gonna be a no for me. It doesn't feel very good. I feel like I'm hitting myself in the face with my hand. This is the weirdest thing I've ever touched my face with. <laughs> no, that's not true. Next, I'm gonna use this color correcting stick. This is in green, which is made to counteract redness, but I'm going to use it in a way that you're not meant to. And I'm just gonna kind of blend this into my foundation. I don't wanna be like really, really green. I just wanna look like nauseous. Next, I'm gonna go in with this cover shot in that eye palette and I'm gonna use it to do some highlighting and some contouring. I'm gonna go in with this highlighting brush. I'm gonna use this yellow shade. And I'm just gonna use it to set under my eyes and lids. And then I'm gonna go in with this really nice taupe shade and do some fairly exaggerated contour. Because I can. I'm also gonna use some of this purple. Next, I'm gonna go in with this Spotlight Palette. Ooh. Going back in with this eyeshadow palette and what's this brush called? Arched Liner Brush. I'm just gonna go in with that light brown and I'm just gonna sketch out lightly where I'm gonna stitch myself together. Across my eyebrow. 
then definitely, obviously, across my neck seems necessary. Throw on some guidelines. I like to always do something on this side of my face because this is the side I take photos from because this is the only side of my face that I like. I'm gonna go in with a fairly dense eyeshadow brush. This is the Precise Smudger. And some of this concealer. And I'm just gonna kind of paint along the edges on both sides of where I want my stitches because this is gonna be like the lip of the wound. I'm so bad at explaining myself. I don't know why I'm doing what I'm doing. I mean, I do, but I don't know how to explain it. Next, I'm gonna go in with this red liquid lipstick using this little angled brush again. And I'm gonna fill in the middle. I want it to be like really straight and perfect. I almost forgot about my throat. Back into this palette, I'm gonna grab the lightest color and see if I can bring back that concealer because it kind of oxidized away. Shade around it. Which I was going to do anyways. I'm just using kind of all the colors in here. Some of the pink, some of the purple, some of the brown. Kind of to make this pop out. You feel me? Don't want it to be too consistent and look too uniform. Kind of blend that out all over to make the skin around it look a little bit irritated. And now I'm gonna add some staples. This is the B Legendary Liquid Metal called Space Case. And I'm just gonna use a little angle brush and I'm gonna staple myself shut. I'm gonna go in with the Limitless Liquid Liner in Jet Black. And I'm just gonna give them a little bit of shadow and kind of a like a spot where they entered. I'm gonna go back in with this highlight palette. See if I can add a highlight to these little staples. It's a little bit better. I'm just gonna go in with this pink shade. irritation around the staple holes. And now I'm gonna go back in with this palette and do uh, a pretty eye look. Going in with this shadow blending brush and the light brown. Not so light brown. The shadows are nice. I love this brush. And then with the Slightly darker brown. And then with this smaller brush, this is the smoky shadow. I'm gonna grab the purple. And put that on the lid. And then I'm gonna smudge that purple real heavy. These shadows are lovely. And I'm gonna use this highlight palette again. Highlight the inner corner. And brow. And then going back in with the Limitless Liquid Liner. Add a wing. I'm like half a wing on this side. I'm gonna put on some lashes and I'll be right back. While the lashes are getting stuck, I'm gonna go into this palette again and add my freckles. 
Then for the lips, I'm gonna use this weird gray liquid lipstick. It's called Chill Zone. Now I'm gonna put on some of the Smashbox X-rated mascara. And it's hair time. Before I forget, the lashes are Black Magic Lashes in Miss Fury. You can use my code, it's likely makeup. For 10% off, I think. The wig is from Trendy Wigs, as per usual. That's that, that's my uh, quick and somewhat easy Halloween makeup using all beauty makeup, no paint or special effects stuff. I hope you guys liked my full face of Smashbox Halloween edition.